folks. It's early in the morning right now. We're looking at 543 in the morning. Uh, it's December the 20th, so it's almost Christmas. Merry Christmas out there. I'm not sure when this video will be uploaded. Uh, I have decided basically to go on a rescue mission today. Uh, it's going to take all day long. It's going to be a long, long day. Uh, we're going to call this series the a Roadrunner Rescue. Uh, basically, folks, I'll tell you a little bit of history of this car with me. Um, when I was real young growing up, uh, my cousin had two that uh, they completely restored. They was all original 1972 Dodge Charger and a 1972 Plymouth Satellite. Both cars, 400 big block automatic cars. Um, I ended up with both of them. Uh, the uh, 1972 Dodge Charger was my very first car. I remember going to the dairy uh, dairy farm because we all milked cows back then, and uh, well, my family did. And I would make fifty dollars, fifty dollars a month, folks. And I paid this toward this car uh, until I got it paid for. And uh, it's a memory that uh, I'll always have. But every time I showed up to go look at the car, or see what was being done, or uh, to watch the vinyl top get put on and just go out there and hang out with my uh, best friend. I uh, I always wanted the black 1972 Plymouth Satellite. That was the bread and butter of the garage back in that day, so to speak. And as you can tell in the footage and the pictures I'm adding right now, uh, you can see why. Well, later down in life, I was able to uh, make a trade for that car. I ended up with it. And uh, unfortunately, it was at a time in my life to where uh, my marriage journey, uh, us having kids finally began and uh, unfortunately I sold the car. I did, however, find the car. Uh, it's still locally here in Tennessee. It's in East Tennessee, of course, I'm in um, the Middle Tennessee area. And uh, I tried to buy the car back, but unfortunately we couldn't make a deal. They didn't want to sell, so here we go. Today I'm going to be heading about it's almost 300 miles north. I'm going about 270 something miles up to Illinois to pick up a 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner. Now this car, I've already ran the VIN. It's uh, got a clear title. It is a 100% restoration project. It is a 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner, 400 big block car, four speed. Um, we are basically resurrecting this car from the grave. There's not much left on it. There's not much bones left on this car. But it's something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Uh, if we make the deal today, hopefully we will. Of course, you're going to be able to see all this unfold. Uh, I'm going to get the car back. Then after the holidays, uh, Bobby Carpenter with Carpenter Classics down in Florida is going to come up and get the car. And uh, I guess the journey begins finally. But it, it has to have a beginning. So today is the beginning. And uh, I'm going to bring all of y'all along with me to the very end of this project. It's gonna be expensive, it's gonna be a lot of hours, there's gonna be a lot of parts. Uh, things are gonna go wrong. Uh, there's all kind of things that's gonna happen. I'm not sure which channel I'm gonna upload this series to yet. Uh, it's gonna be a long series. I may dedicate uh, my backup channel just to this series and to redoing uh, my old vehicles and getting them back roadworthy like they should be. I'm real big. If anybody follows the Zombie Farmer channel that sees this video, uh, I'm real big on preserving history. Uh, I'm real big on preserving our livelihood, standing up for morals and principles that uh, has been forgotten in today's society. So I'm looking forward to doing this series. I'm looking forward to doing this video. I'm excited about getting this car, but you know, with age comes wisdom. And I know there's gonna be a lot of money and time put in this car, but uh, we'll just take our time. We'll eventually get to it. We'll get there and uh, hopefully it's going to be a uh, an awesome experience, an awesome ride to behold, and I'm going to bring every single one of y'all along with me. Um, I will be attaching this video to Patreon, so to all my Patreons over there watching, God bless every single one of y'all. Y'all have been with me for a very, very long time, and maybe we can continue to uh, to put out the truth and put out good content. Uh, I'm looking forward to this day. I'm tired. I work uh, work long hours, nights. You know, I work hard for my money. Uh, I'd rather invest the money into something like this uh, because it means more to me. It's my happy place. When I get behind the wheel of an old hot rod or an old classic, uh, it takes me back to a simpler time, and I truly, truly uh, do love every minute I get to drive down the road in these old classics. So join us. Come along with us. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a road, folks. So 
let's get this going. I'm going to be shooting uh, footage from Tennessee to Illinois today when I get there on the way back. And uh, let's get this rescue mission underway. Hey, what's going on, folks? We are heading down I-24, heading toward Clarksville right now. Uh, it's around 7.20 in the morning. As soon as we get to the Kentucky line, I'll be doing some more footage. I got my partner in crime right here, all kicked back, ready to go. Back here or not, but I got it on there. Right now, no troubles. We hope it stays that way. So I'll keep bringing y'all along for the ride. So we are up here in Communist, Illinois. We're gonna try not to stay here too long. Had to stay. And uh, we are probably about 45 minutes away from the destination, so. Here we go again. And we have finally arrived, folks. So we'll get over and see what this thing looks like. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we ended up checking it out and we made a deal on this car. It is 1972 True Roadrunner, big block car, four speed. Like I said, this car is going down to Carpenter's Classics in Florida. Bobby is gonna do a lot of work on this car and we're gonna get this car back on the road, hopefully in 2023. There's not much Bondo, but there's still some spots that we gotta fix. But overall, frame rails are good, frame's good, trunk pan's good, it needs new floor pans. But just to know that we saved this piece of history is all worth it to me. What do you think about it, Ryan? I like it. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a true road runner when we get done with it. So there it is, folks. Let's head back to Tennessee.
Hey, what's going on folks? So we wasn't able to get the Roadrunner off the trailer last night. We got about an hour and a half delay when we got to the Tennessee state line from Kentucky near Clarksville, um, Fort Campbell area. There's a lot of construction going on and it was just a mess. So that's basically the only traffic that we hit the whole trip up to Chester, Illinois. Uh, we got this car. I'm fixing to go unload this car uh, and then it will stay here and the parts are going to start being ordered and it's going to be waiting its trip down to florida for complete restoration so i'm going to be getting it off the trailer i'm going to be just parking it over here at our other property and the waiting game begins but the part ordering <laughs> it begins also so here we go y'all stay with us